Brakathea Hawa, Brakathea Hawa Shai, Brakathea Hawa, Brakathea Hawa Shai, Brakathea Hawa, Brakathea Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. The elders of Israel being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom Wahabla which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at your game to the lesson and the Holy Spirit of Truth. The title of this video is going to be something along the lines of Many great men have fallen because of the woman. Many great men has fallen because of the woman. Let's start all the way back in the beginning with Adam. He had it made. Okay? The king of the earth. The ruler of the world. But who messed it up? Eve. Alright, that's why it says um, through her. Let me just read that. Because the Lord made us to be immortal. As it says in the book of Wisdom of Solomon. Let me grab my sword. Bro. Papa Kasha, bear with me. Let's get that Wisdom of Solomon. Then we're going to go to Sirach to back it up. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, in verse 23. It says, For Yahweh created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world, and they that do hold of his side do find it. And what did the woman do? Instead of listening to her man, her husband, her head, her leader, her master, she went and listened to the devil who was envious of her husband, who wanted to destroy her husband. Okay? And now we're no longer immortal. Because of that. Right? Let's read the precept in Sirach. The Sirach chapter 25 and verse 24. It says, Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Alright, the so-called white man, I did a video last week, or two weeks ago, whenever it was. Uh, some Jake, he was breaking it down how the so-called black woman is the greatest soldier in the so-called white man's army. She's bought and paid for. Alright? She's joined hand in hand with this devil in his kingdom. That's why it says in the book of Isaiah. Children are their oppressors and women rule over them. And the leaders of my people cause them to err. The woman is the leader. She's the, she's the head of the house now. Esau. And Eve are in cahoots against the Israelite man. So-called black, Hispanic, and Native American men. Starting with Judah. And they're working together to destroy us as a nation. The most dangerous place for a so-called black man is in the womb of a so-called black woman. There's a lot of Jake's. That didn't even make it out the womb because of their mama. She stay in that clinic. Twerking, twerking on, on top of the wall. Right? <laughs> twerking on the damn ceiling. Freestyling with lime green weave. And Elmer's glue on her forehead. Talking about how she's deleting, bragging about deleting a baby. So the point of this lesson is um, there was some dude, we did a lesson last week 
We did a lesson, me, Pops, and uh, your call, the brother your call. We did a lesson last week that was entitled, we don't have to, let me look it up real quick. We don't have to suffer, you disrespectful ass bitches. Okay? And, um, some dude came on the comment board. I'm read his comment. His name is not important. Alright. Well, actually, I, 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 I'll shout out his name. Study Day and Night 144. This is his comment. You can't be serious. Why do a lesson about the women? You guys are young brothers. Acting old. My father was in the video. He's... 50 years old, <laughs> you can see the grays in his beard. All right, um, then I click on this guy's, I click, clicked on his this guy's page. His he f first started this YouTube channel a year ago. All right, so uh, all three of us we've been around longer than him. I don't, I don't know what the hell, I, I don't know what the hell, uh, you know, crawled up his ass and died. All right, <laughs> I, I don't know why his panties is in a bunch, but let me finish the comment. It says, uh, you can't be serious. Why do a lesson about the women? You guys are young brothers acting old. If you don't like women, I don't understand <laughs> how we acting old. Just because we saying that you don't have to suffer. No woman disrespecting you. No Babylonian bitch disrespecting you. We are the prize. All right. Isaiah 13. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even more precious than the golden wedge of Ophir that perisheth. Isaiah 32, a man shall be a hiding place from, a wind, from the wind, a covert from the tempest. Ezekiel 9 and 4 says, uh, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. As for the others, let not your eyes spare. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. That word mark goes back to the Hebrew word the wa, which means to be exempt from judgment. So all we were doing is going into biblical accounts, history and prophecy showing you how the Lord has judged and will judge wicked, disrespectful women. Okay? And this guy, um, he got in his emotions. He got in his feelings. You can't be serious. Why do a lesson about the women? You guys are young brothers acting old. If you don't like women, then be with a man. Preach the gospel of the Lord, Jake. If not, then fall back. Mind you, there's a guy that's he started doing videos a year ago. And he's inconsistent. I'm looking at his page right now. His last video was six days ago. Before that, his last video was three weeks ago. So he's inconsistent. All right, he has no camping videos. All right, but he's he, he's the one acting like he's old, like he's somebody. He don't look that old in age. He ain't been around that long spiritually. Okay. Not saying we have, but we've been around a whole hell of a lot longer than this guy. All right. But anyways, that's what sparked this lesson. All right. And I was just meditating that this topic will always be relevant as long as we are here. This this topic uh, of the women has been relevant really since the beginning. We just went into it in Genesis. Through her, we all die of the woman became the beginning of sin. Okay, this is why we are in the state that we're in. Because like the title says, the great man himself, Adam, he fell because of the woman. Let's fast forward to another great man. King David. Okay, he fell, he messed up. Because of the woman. Bathsheba. Committed murder and adultery. Because of the desire that he had for her. Okay. And causing punishment. The Lord didn't kill him. Okay. But he caught a whole hell of a lot. Of troubles. After that, as a punishment for what he did over that woman. After him, his son, King Solomon, the wisest king to sit on the throne. 
He had a thousand women, 700 wives, 300 concubines. And those women caused him to turn his heart away from the Lord. And he started serving other gods all right, of the heathen women that he was dealing with. So that's three examples right there. That's three examples, three major examples of great men falling because of women. And I can tell you that the women that they was dealing with is on a whole different level than the women that we see here in America. Trust and believe that. Okay? Built different, literally. They actually had their real hair. Their real eyelashes. They didn't have to beat their face with a bunch of goddamn makeup. They didn't have fake asses and fake titties. Okay? They was on a whole different level than the women that we deal with today. But the point is, is to always be mindful. Alright? Of the woman, because on this side, she is an adversary. She's an enemy. She's being used, just like in the beginning... She's being used as a weapon to break down the sons of God, the sons of the Most High Yahweh. Let's go from there to the book of Micah. This is Micah chapter 7 and verse 10. It says, Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? The average woman is a is a goddamn Satanist, man. Whether whether she um, subscribes to it openly or not, she's a she's a damn she's a, a Satanist. She's in cahoots. She's she's the one marching, all right, with a damn bull nose piercing in the middle of her nose, looking stupid as fuck. She's the one marching for Transformers, all right. She's the one. She hey, you know what month it is now, right? It's June. The sixth month of the year, which is the, uh, which is the Sodomite month. Okay, Pride. And who are you gonna see marching, man? The nigga woman with no bra on, looking crusty as all hell, with a sign. She's the main one marching, all right, to delete babies. She is in cahoots with the devil. Alright? And we and, and they're not to be trusted. The scriptures say, never trust thine enemy. Okay? That's in the book of Sirach. Never trust thine enemy. It's not just talking about the so-called white man. It's not just talking about these heathens. It's talking about these women as well. We just read it in the book of Micah 7. Micah 7 and 10. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? Mine eye shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. She is going down with Esau Edom. The scriptures say, Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. The scriptures say, every, every one that is found joined unto him shall be thrust through. The scriptures say in the book of Isaiah, he that helpeth and he that hopeth shall fall all together with him. Roughly paraphrasing. So this, the woman is joined hand in hand. We quoted in Isaiah. Children are their oppressors, Esau, Edom, and women rule over them. They're in cahoots. All right. Esau, liber so-called liberated exalted, uplifted, put the woman on a pedestal so that what? He can use her to further oppress us. Okay? That was the main goal of women's lib. Okay? To oppress the Israelite man. So never trust thine enemy. Let's go from there to the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 
and we don't even be one to do videos like it. We we tr we try to refrain, all right, and avoid doing videos on this topic. But it's relevant. Okay? She is a problem. The woman is a problem, especially here in America. Since the beginning, she's been used to destroy great men. She's been used by the serpent, by the devil, to cause men to go astray. So it's a part of the battle. Okay? It's a major part of the battle overcoming these women and controlling our lust and our desires, our wants and our needs. We're men. It'll always be relevant. So videos, as much as we try to avoid it, videos will always come out concerning this topic, especially now that you got, you know, TikTok and uh, you know, all these different platforms for women to show how wicked they are. We're going to use these different clips and show you in the Bible. That this is all written. The lewdness. The wickedness. It's all prophesied man, and the downfall. She shall be trodden down like the mire of the streets. Quite literally. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7. And verse. 26. Bible shot, bear with me. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 26. It's a lot, yeah. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 26. It says, And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth the Most High shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Her heart is bands and nets. You have something called a shit test where a woman will try you, test your boundaries just to see where you at. See if you let her get away with it. See if you're going to check her and tell her to watch her fucking mouth. Okay. That's a low level of her heart being banned and that's just randomly just coming up with random ass shit and seeing how you react. Everything's cool. Everything's peaceful. All right. But that's too much. That's too much for a woman. She got to cause some type of drama. More bitter than death. We're not going to have to deal with this problem in the kingdom. Okay? The man and the woman will be on one accord. Because the Lord is coming to set everything in its proper order. Here in America, things are in its proper order. The family structure is in ordered properly. The woman is uplifted and exalted in this society. There's certain guys they, they they think they got it. Yeah, she lets me she lets me have other women. What you mean she lets you? She lets you have other women. What? You supposed to be the man. God lets me have other women. The most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai allows that. Exodus 21 and 10. It talks about getting another wife, another woman. You say that to these women, they start, you see them demons start bouncing off, weaves start percolating. Okay, eyes start rolling, popping out their fucking head. In the ancient days, that wasn't no, it's, it wasn't even no discussion. 
It wasn't even a problem. Because that's nature. That's it's natural. It's by bi it's biology. First and foremost, it's biblical. Secondly, it's biology. Okay, which the two go hand in hand. Because the God of the Bible, Yahweh, in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, he made the man a certain way. He made the woman a certain way. It says that uh, male and female created he, them. The Lord created man and woman. The Lord created everything on this earth. And he knows exactly how things are supposed to run, exactly how things are supposed to function. A man is capable of having multiple women. A woman is not capable of dealing with multiple men. That's not her biology. Okay? It says, and I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart, her mind, is snares and nets. It's a trap. And her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth the most high shall escape from her. But the sinner shall be taken by her. So that's how we're going to. That's how we're going to defeat. Satan's greatest soldier. Pleasing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Serving him. Serving truth. Because truth is strong. And conquereth all things. Okay. Let's go from there. Matter of fact. Let's continue to read. Behold this have I found. Ecclesiastes 7 and 27. Behold this have I found. Saith the preacher. Counting one by one. To find out the account. Which yet my soul seeketh. But I find not. One man among a thousand. Have I found. But. A woman among all those have I not found. Solomon, the greatest, the wisest king, he couldn't find no he couldn't find no righteous women. He found one out of a thousand, so that shows you who's who's more precious. Okay, that man, that real one percent man, point zero 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 zero. One, we did the math one time, all right? It was like a rough estimate. There's only, what, 12 or 13 of us in the camp out here, all right, that's seeking and serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai in truth in all of Iowa, right, as far as we know. And when you take when you take the numbers and break down the population, we are very, a hey, <laughs> we're a commodity, Top 1%, top 5%. It's beyond that. 0. 0.00000000001. All right? That's how special a man of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai is. A servant of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai is, man. And we got to make sure that we keep that on the forefront of our mind. We serve the Lord Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. And when all things collapse, that's the only thing that's going to matter. That's going to determine if you high value or not. If you're protected from the plagues that Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai is bringing. It says. Uh, and that's it on that. So let's go from there to the book of. Second Ezra. Or no. First Ezra. First Ezra chapter four and verse. See, I want to see where the point is and where I want to start. Um, I start here at. I start at twenty six and I jump around, jump around. This is First Ezra chapter four. In verse, yeah, I'll get straight to the point. Verse 26, it says, Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women, 
and become servants for their sakes. And that's the whole goal of the woman, especially here in this society. They want to make you a servant. They want to make you a slave. They trying to see what you can do for them. They have nothing to offer. They have nothing to offer you. Okay? But they have this long list of stipulations and requirements that you must have in order to deal with her funky ass. Her heart is bands and nets and she's trying to make you a servant. Okay? Many also have perished, so the previous verses said what? Many ran out their wits, ran out their mind. There's a lot of niggas in the graveyard because of a woman. There's a lot of niggas in the jail because of a woman. Okay? A lot of these botty boys is because of their fucking mama. Alright? The majority of the problems on this earth today... <laughs> All right, or I'll say in this Western uh, society, the majority of the, you know, the social issues is, is because of the woman, because of the power that she has been given in this society, because of the liberation that she's received from her, um, her daddy, the devil. If she gets back in order, a lot of things will be fixed. OK. That's why Esau Edom made it his business to get the man out of the house and to so-called liberate the woman so that he can control the Israelite house. So that he's raising the children. Via daycare. You got a fucking two-month-old newborn baby in a daycare. Right? Preschool. Kindergarten. That starts at four or five years old. All the way up until you're 18. That's your whole youth. Then you go to college, man. College is a freak show. So it was a chess move. It was a chess play. And really it goes back to the curses, man. That the Lord put upon us for being disobedient to him. For breaking the covenant. Now our wives is harlots in the streets. Look at these women, man. Look at Sexy Red. That's who's influencing the youth. Meg the goddamn stallion and Cardi B. Many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women. So we got to make sure that we constantly checking that urge. You know, in, in whatever in whatever aspect, in whatever capacity, man. It says in the book of Genesis, the third chapter, because of the woman listening to the serpent, in sorrow she shall bring forth children. Right? That's why she has birth pains. It goes back to the disobedience of Eve. But it says, your desire should be towards your husband and he shall rule over thee. That's the only way it'll work is if we rule, if we if we in the driver's seat, if we in control. She can't have no control. She doesn't know what to do with that type of power. She doesn't know what to do with that type of responsibility. The scriptures say if you have a daughter, keep her in straightly, lest she destroy herself through over much liberty. Roughly paraphrasing. She'll destroy herself and everybody joined to her with that type of power, with that type of liberty and authority. And the devil, he knew this. Okay, let's go from there to Sirach 3 real quick. The Sirach chapter 3 and verse 9, it says, For the blessing of the father establishes the houses of children. The father brings structure to the house. You take the father out of the house, there's no structure. There's no foundation. All right? You bind the strong man, the house is spoiled. But the curse of the mother rooted out foundations. She doesn't, she doesn't bring any structure. Okay? Structure has to be instilled in her. 
Alright? It's not her role to run shit. It's not her role to call the shots. She was created to listen. She was created to be a help meet for Adam. A help, meaning an assistant, a servant, which is the very definition of the word woman. A female servant. Look up the etymology. Okay? That's it on that. This is back in uh, First Ezra chapter 4. Or, yeah, chapter 4. In verse... I start at verse. Damn. I'm going to just continue to read. Verse 28. And now do ye not believe me? Is not the king great in his power? Do not all regions fear to touch him? Yet did I see him and Apame, the king's concubine, the daughter of the admiral Bardicus, sitting at the right hand of the king. And taking the crown from the king. So this is the king. Alright. He's on top. I believe the Persians was uh, ruling in this time. But I forget the exact king. It might have been Cyrus. But. This is a king. Said well all men fear him. But here it is, this little little badass concubine. Okay? <laughs> know her way around the bed. Know them tricks. She's over here taking the crown off the king. How disrespectful. Right? And taking the crown from the king's head and setting it upon her own head. She also struck, and I'll show you the mentality. That's, that's, that's one of them shit tests. Let me see what I can get away with. Take the crown off the king, put it on her own head. Think she's in control. Think she's in ruler. Think think she's the ruler. Xerxes, Artaxerxes, Ahasuerus. Read about him in the book of Esther. He he called for Vashti to bring her ass on. She said, "Now nah, I'm busy." All right, tell him to kick rocks. And then, you know, Hoseris and all his men was like, yo, we got to do something about this. Put her ass away. All right. So that that wicked vibration don't spread. Of these women trying to us usurp authority over their men. Read the book of Esther. Okay. It says, she also struck the king with her left hand. And yet for all this, the king gaped and gazed upon her with open mouth. Because the scriptures say, man, that, you know, uh, the beauty of a woman cheereth the countenance. All right. I mean, it's just we're men. We're men. And Esau has weaponized that. Now these bitches is all in the gym wearing Next to nothing. All on all on the internet. Naked as fuck. Doing gym gym videos. Ass thick in the hole. And you just gaping. Gazing. Mouth open. Distracted. And I fall victim to it. Shit. <laughs> I'm a man. But we got to keep that in check. Even when it comes to your own woman. It said, Paul, Paul said you're going to have trouble in the flesh. Certain things we just can't tolerate. Certain things need to be corrected and nipped in the bud. Alright. It says... If she laughed upon him, he laughed also. 
But if she took any displeasure at him, the king was fain to flatter that she might be r reconciled to him again. So he was he was simping low key. He was all caught up in her ass. Head over heels for her. We can't be head over heel heels, man. That'll destroy you. That'll destroy you, man. For real. You all caught up in, in, in a woman. It says desire not for beauty. Meaning what? That's not... The, you, we, we can't... That's not her only purpose. All right? She can't just be pretty and that's it. But she's disrespectful. She don't do shit for you. She's a liability and not an asset. These are things that we have to continue to go into. There's young brothers, all right, which I, I myself am. I'm not old, even though I feel like it, man. I'm only 28, and you know it's it's still something that that we're gonna we're gonna continue to battle, like I can like I already mentioned, all right. But brothers coming in at 16, 17, 18. Without father figures, it gotta, or they may have a father figure and never really, they never really put them on game. These things have to be taught, man. While well, you got this dude getting mad, these things have to be taught. And it's not like this the only thing. This is not no red pill, you know, manosphere channel. We go into everything and filter it all through the Bible. Okay? We go into geopolitics, World War Three. We go into economics, the collapse of the dollar, prophecy. We go into the food shortages, the lack of resources. We go into false prophets. We go into anything that you can think of, man, that need to be taught. That's the key, that need to be taught. Okay, back in Second Ezra, or First Ezra chapter four, in verse thirty-two, O ye men, how can it be but women should be strong, seeing they do thus? Then the king and the princes looked one upon another. So he began to speak of the truth. O ye men, are not women strong? Great. So this is Zerubbabel. He's breaking it down. He's saying, Yeah, women, women are strong. Okay. Women is strong, but I'm going to tell you what's the strongest. What's stronger than everything that these other guys just mentioned. One guy mentioned the king. One guy mentioned wine. Another guy mentioned uh, uh, women, I believe. Or was it Zerubbabel that just mentioned women? But nonetheless, he, he went down the list. You mentioned the king. You mentioned women. You, men you mentioned um, wine. Well, what's stronger than all? All those are strong. Y'all right. All those are strong. Wine, that's another, that's something that's strong that we got to watch, that we got to keep in check. There was that one, um, I want to say Susanna. All right, and Susanna, nope, nope, not Susanna, it's Judith. It's Judith, she was so fine. I, I can't even imagine how fine she was. All right, she stopped wars is how fine she was. And she didn't have no weave either. That shit is so... Mm. What Murph said, if I see weave, I leave. Can't do it. Got them baby hairs installed on your forehead with a glue stick. Can't do it. She got one of the heads of the army. She chopped his head off. He was getting all nice and drunk because he thought he was finna get some of the, some of that um that that Judith. You know, that Judith box. Not a juice box, that Judith box. So he getting all liquored up for her. Passed out in the tent. She took off his head, man. He was the head of an army. And he fell through what? Through the woman. Okay? And that wine. It says wine and women cause men of understanding to err. So, again, these are things that we're constantly... Gotta uh, speak on that we're gonna continue to battle and um, that we have to conquer. Okay, it says, Oh, ye men are not 
women strong, great is the earth, high is the heaven, swift is the sun in its course. For he can passive shows you the sun revolves around the earth and not the other way around. For he can passive the heavens round about and fetcheth his course again to his own place in one day. He it Salaki is he not great that maketh these things? Talking about the Lord. Therefore, great is the truth and stronger than all things. Okay? That's how we're going to conquer anything that we're faced with. Through Yahweh by Shem Shai, we are more than conquerors, man. Through him that loved us. Okay? The, the woman is a battle on this side. Because we're supposed to be one union. We're supposed to be joined together. They were made for us. But now the interaction between men and women is so crooked because of the devil and, and, and his, you know, the social constructs that he implemented. It's a trap. Okay? It says, Therefore great is the truth and stronger than all things. All the earth calleth upon the truth and the heaven Blesseth it, all the works shake and tremble at it, and with it is no unrighteous thing. Wine is wicked. The king is wicked. Women are wicked. All the children of men are wicked. And such are all their wicked works. And there is no truth in them. In their unrighteousness also they shall perish. As for truth, it endureth. And it is always strong. It liveth and conquereth forevermore. Truth. Okay? That's what we need to be chasing. That's what's going to get us a kingdom. Where in dwelleth righteousness. Where in dwelleth all good things. That's what's going to get us a throne, a scepter, a crown to come with it. Truth. Seek the kingdom of heaven and all these things shall be added unto you. King Solomon sought out wisdom, prayed for wisdom. The women was a byproduct. The riches was a byproduct. Reigning over all his enemies was a byproduct. So we need to be seeking wisdom. We need to be praying for wisdom. And all of our hearts, desires and righteousness will be given to us. In the kingdom. Heaven has said, Lord willing, I was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Racha, Chodash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Racha, Chodash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. honest to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, that rule well. Shalom, which is peace and love to elect of Israel. Shalom Achim, brothers keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draweth nigh and redemption is near than we believe. Shalom.